Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. It seems odd, does it not? That the transition is so quick. My partner has talked this day about concepts that are odd. The oddities of what is real and what is not is odd only in 3D. And in this linearity that you live in, the teaching, therefore, is to get out of it. <laughs> and to move into that which is a bigger box than you're in. One that sees that which you don't understand, and yet you feel good about it. Dear ones, you don't have to know the minutia in order to enjoy love. You don't have to know the minutia in order for spirit to push and pull you into those areas that are best for you and beautiful for you. You don't have to know the minutia of the clock and to win or why. The reasoning is not needed for you to enjoy and participate in that which God has for you. But so many of you approach the issue backwards. You got to know why, when, how, in order to receive the answers. Isn't it interesting that when you have an emergency, you don't care? <laughs> Fix it now. I don't need to know. But if you're sitting in a conference, and you have things presented to you which may then tickle the intellectual in you. You want to sit down and analyze it before you accept it. This is part of the changes we speak of. When these things are presented to you the next time, or even if you review them with friends, I want you to discern emotionally and through the heart if they're real and you start with belief and later you figure out why if you have to figure out why beforehand you may never get it it's all part of assumptions you make an assumption that what you're hearing right now is real from spirit and it is but not all of you are making that assumption even in this astute group of light workers there are those saying well he is he is partially in and partially out of 3d well it isn't really cryon talking it's partly him it's partly perhaps the entourage maybe a little of his higher self is in there all mixed together giving messages and by the time the message is over all you've done is try to figure out who's talking and you never heard it at all you never heard it at all a moment ago the man was speaking to you and he isn't now what do you think of that what is your reality when it comes to the belief in these kinds of things? Well, I'm going to push the envelope yet again. If you don't believe this is real and what is coming, you won't believe at all. Dear ones, what I want to give to you tonight is simple in love. And it's going to be the second channel continuing from one we called assumptions we'll call this assumptions two <laughs> and we're going to review the first one so none of you 
have missed anything. What humans have that you will then learn to move away from is the box of assumptions based upon all that you are and have heard and participated in all your life. And it's a tough call to get out of them. We know this. We sit next to you. If we should suspend the channel right now and say we know you, would you believe us? We know why you're here. We know if you're believing this or not. This morning we told you about a door you could open. It's a metaphor. It's about giving permission to get out of the assumptive box into another reality that is so much bigger than that which you're used to. It has an allowance for that which you cannot see but feel. It gives you the understanding that energies exist around you that have personality, but maybe they're not angels. Is it possible that physics itself is aware? What is it that your heart generates when you have love? Is it real? Is it an emotion? Is it a field? Is it an attitude? Does it have energy? Can it push things around? Does it affect you and others? And if so, how? All of these things, these esoteric things that we have just spoken of are part of that which humans are learning but don't really have to understand. There's, there's going to come a day when that which you would call the proof of it that is science will come along. And when it does, it will explain many things. But are you going to wait for that? Or are you willing to feel it now? How many times have we given this message to you? That you have no idea what love is. And yet you sit in it and you love it. You accept it. You want it. It's the basic human emotion, isn't it? From the moment you are born and the mother looks at you, you are loved. Almost overwhelmingly, this is mother and child's emotion. And you don't have to figure it out. There's a bond that exists in love one with another. So many books have been written about it. So much has been discussed, and the romance of it is desirable. And you want it, because you feel it, but you can't explain it. Is it so much to ask of you that as I discuss these things, that you would have the same acceptance, just like you do of love? We must speak to you in metaphors. And the reason is because some of the principles that are coming that have to you to do with the, the, the communication with spirit and you, you have no words for it. There's, there's no concepts yet for it. And yet here we are telling you all about it. We speak in metaphors. We have to. The last time we were together in another place, a message was given about assumptions. And the metaphor was this. A sightless man finds himself living very comfortably in a home. And he lives there for years and he develops all the things around him which he is comfortable with. And he has identified everything and is able to work with it. Even though he is sightless, he survives easily. He feels love. He knows where the food is. All of the things he needs to, to survive in a social environment 
is understood and he lives a long life. And the entire time he never discovered the elevator. And the elevator is that the metaphor he lived in an 80 story building. He assumed there was one story. The reason he never found the elevator is because he assumed he was looking for other things. The elevator was there the whole time. Oh, he felt it. He may have even seen it in his mind, but it was simply a deviation in the wall. It wasn't invisible at all. He just assumed it was one thing when it was another. What if he had found the elevator? What does that mean? We explain this now as we did a little back then. The elevator is a metaphor of being able to move to a higher place of consciousness, spirituality, understanding, knowledge. The assumption all along is that he had enough of it. That there was nothing more. He would have sensed it, he thought, if there was. But he never found the elevator. What do you think would have happened if there were no assumptions and he moved into that one room and he looked at all that was there and made no assumptions? He would have found the elevator and would have gone up in it. Now, here is the metaphor of the elevator. Listen carefully, dear ones. He gets in the elevator and it moves him to the next level. He gets out of the elevator into the second floor or the third floor and discovers things that are beyond his imagination that enhance his life greatly. The metaphor is that the elevator automatically lifted him to that higher floor because he discovered it. You will notice I never said he missed the stairwell, did I? You see, there wasn't one. Because the stairwell is something you have to climb yourself. It is something that requires you step by step to lift your entire body weight to a place you have no idea where you're going to. Step by step with efforts, puffing, all of the things that you know all about. Dear ones, that is a metaphor. Now pay attention. Spirit is not interested in having you work to get to the next floor. Are you hearing this? You're going to be lifted there because you deserve it, because it's time for it. It is your lineage to belong on the floors above where you are. It is your lineage. And those who tell you that God is going to make you work for it doesn't know about God. They know about men. They know about assumptions that say you've got to work hard to get to level two. Let me tell you something, old soul. You've worked hard. If you discover the elevator, we'll lift you there. We'll lift you so gently in the hands of God to the next level. Because you deserve it. So much of humanity is all about you. Having to please God in some way. Having to climb those stairs and hurt yourself. And maybe some of you aren't going to make it. And all. It goes on and on just to get to our place and it's not that way at all it's not that way so the assumption is clear that you had to work for it and you don't because you already have so let's break that assumption ride the elevator understand that you're being lifted to the next floor now here is a question some may ask.
Be clear about the question. Was the elevator always there? Yes. Was the elevator there before you got into the room? Yes. Is there anything else you might be missing that is similar to the elevator? Yes. I'm going to give you a premise now that we have mentioned before only in passing and briefly. And it's the most beautiful thing I may ever say to human beings. In you, as you walk around this planet, is everything you will ever need for thousands of years of evolution. It's not going to appear there magically. The elevator was always there. And so is everything else you can imagine. You are built with it, born with it, inbred in it. The lineage of your DNA is complete with it. The spiritual force that is you guarantees it. All you have to do is discover it. What this means is that everything that has ever been taught about what you can do in any department of spirituality or health or consciousness or belief is already there. <laughs> you have this assumption that you got to go find it and learn it, apply it to yourself, activate it, pick it up, work with it. It's already there. Name it. Some of you are sitting in the chairs right now and you've come for a healing today. You see, I know who's here. I really do. Do you know that I've been with you and all the tears happened? Did you know that? Not cry on, but the entourage that I represent from the creative source, which is part of you. I've been with you for the duration. We all have. You've come and you wanted healing for yourself. There's one here that wants to be healed from fear. I know who you are. There's another that wants to be healed from a habit. I know who you are. There are some who would like to progress in their consciousness to the next step because they feel they've been held back. I know who's here. And I could address every single one of you with the same information. So beautiful. It's the same information the masters of the planet all had. Everything is built in. For the one who has come for healing, you were born with it. It's waiting for belief. It's waiting for activation. It's not waiting for God to do something. It's yours. It has your name on it. It's the reason you need it. So you will open that door of belief and understanding that the healing has always been yours all along. Take the hand of the healer, your higher self, and be healed. The cure to the habits, to the fear. It's always been there. The antithesis of fear is compassion and love. And the compassionate human being will wipe out fear. So it will never come back, never come back again. If they believe it. It's inside. There's no process. Not really. They will then erase it. Other than that which is self-discovery. All of the teachers in the room, all of them, work with systems of self-discovery. And the question, who am I, can be answered by understanding the systems that they're showing. 
They are not outside of you. There is no system that is outside of you in this room. Every single system is about you. <laughs> to bring you to a place where you can understand, it's always been there. Always. Do you seek higher consciousness? Then why not accept it? You might say you were born with a stamp. Stamped when you were born. Higher consciousness. And there you are waiting to find out how to find it. How to get it. Who's going to give it to you? And you were born with it. Cry and you're talking in circles. I am not talking in circles. For those of you who are really paying attention and understanding a message which is partly esoteric, partly given in the third language, I am telling you that inside of you is every single answer because inside of you is God. And all you have to do is relax. Relax. Believe it. Understand these things. And if you are one that wants to then go further and see the beauty of the systems that will allow you to even expand that, heal others, it's here for you in the room. But so many of you are sitting waiting for something to happen, waiting to find the stairwell so you can climb a process, a procedure, a list. And there just isn't one. That is beautiful. You mean crying if I just sit here and just take a deep breath and imagine compassion? That I can have these things and I can tell you, you just told the basic truth of humanity. Visualize yourself peaceful. Visualize yourself out of fear. Visualize yourself healed so completely that you are going to go into laughter and hysterical joy because it's gone. That which came in with you is gone. A miracle has occurred, you may say. And all it has been is you waking up to who you are. Some of you are waiting for circumstances, things to happen in order to change that. Perhaps it's in the family. Perhaps it's at work. And you're wringing your hands and worrying. See, I know who's here. You're a slave of the clock, dear ones. You think you're not. You're, you are waiting for synchronicity. Others are involved, are they not? Yes, they are. They have to be. So you cannot force an issue that involves other souls. You have to wait until the synchronicity is correct and it's coming for things to happen in the way that you have asked. Or you're waiting for something you don't know about to accomplish that or something better. Are you okay with that? You see, I know who's here. That which you are concerned about holds you in the box of concern. That's what you are afraid of holds you in the box of fear. That which you partially believe in holds you back from totally belief. Dear human being, listening to this message, can you throw off the mantle that is covering your belief and move to the next level and let this elevator take you there? And why be satisfied with a second floor when you can go to 80? The things that are available for you are endless, beautiful, possible. 
if you will let go of the assumptions that you think you know how it works. Or the assumptions that the chink, you got to go to one before you can get to two. How linear. Why not just go all the way? We gave you messages of the five in a circle. And if you want to review it again, it says you assume you belong in a box and you have a job to do and you do it without looking at anyone else. And some of you say, this is the only box that exists because it's the only one I'm in. Therefore, everybody else is doing it wrong. <laughs> Not understanding. There are no boxes. You're part of a machine that is of love, of creation. And the part that you're playing is the part I am playing as cryon, as part of one, a part of many. You all, all, are a confluence of energy of the creative source. It may appear that you're specialized, but not really. What you do as part of this wonderful machine of love makes the whole machine turn. And what they do makes you turn. And together, you're creating a consciousness shift and peace on earth. But not if you stay wondering how it works or if you're even going to get there. It's a pretty basic message, isn't it? Get over that thing which restricts you. Which is an old belief for perhaps things you've been told by others or even your parents or even your teachers. It's time to think for yourself. To discern that which is discernible now for you, you, only you, soul, not anyone else. And pick yourself up and get in the elevator of healing, of a lack of fear of self-worth. And get on with things. There's never been a greater message than this about the power of humanity. It has to start with you. It doesn't matter how old you are chronologically in this room. No, no difference because an old soul can come here and have tremendous amount of lifetimes and be a youngster. And you know who I'm talking to now. Dear ones, what you discover in the elevator today, listen to me. It's a metaphor. It's cryptic. What you discover in the elevator today will be with you when you're born again on this planet. And it'll stay with you if you go to level 3, level 4, level 80, and you're born again into this planet, you'll start where you left off. Not at the bottom. Did you hear me? This is new. We've told it to you before in other messages and other metaphors. It's not linear anymore. Not at all. Absorb these things like a sponge because what you learn today is forever. Old soul, that is why you came. It's enough for today. I want you to leave this place so differently than you came. I want you to feel empowered even though you may not have understood a word. <laughs> you leave empowered. I don't know what Crying was talking about and I don't know what to do. It sounded good then but I still don't know what to do. Dear ones, don't do anything. But look up to yourself. You hear me? You're bigger than you think, and the processes that you need to find the elevator will be given to you because you want them. Without restrictions, without having to figure it out. Dear Spirit, show me what I need to know in order to get to where I belong. This or something better is for me. I'm on my way. Thank you. That's all. And then stand back. Because you just threw away the box of assumptions. 
on how you think it's really done. You're powerful. Take it and run with it. It's time. I'm crying in love with humanity and for good reason. And so it is.